the lamp is full, I was going along, sorting, you know, sorting it, the lamp was full. Uh, and then suddenly, bang, stopped. Uh, and I felt very lonely and suicidal. And that's when you people came in. It saved, it saved me, it saved me that. The last five months we are in the house and we don't have any kids who do, can do the shopping for us. At the beginning of lockdown, my immediate concerns were my mom. Right, she's a breast uh, cancer patient. That was really my key concern for my mom's health, really. The first worry is how do I get food? Oh, we're panicking because we've got no food supply. We needed some supplies of food. So I mean, there was a day when, uh, you know, we were like really struggling for a can of baked beans. That started in March. And it's August now. I think I've been to the corner of the street once. I don't know what we would have done. <laughs> that was the only thing we were frightened of, what we could get. Who's going to support us? But it's grace of God that we got some support. Um, it, you've done so much in fact, and it keeps on coming. The kindness you've shown me has been wonderful. So everyone, who has supported in UK, Leicester, Shire and Rutland, thank you and thank you for keeping me in mind. Everyone who has supported us UK, Leicester, uh, Shire and Rutland, thank you for keeping me up to date with food, parcels and shopping. On behalf of my mum and myself, we are very grateful to everyone who has supported Age UK, Leicestershire and Rutland. Thank you very much for keeping us supported with the food parcels all this time. To everyone that has supported Age UK, Leicestershire and Rutland, can I thank you most sincerely. Um, I don't know what I've done without you.